The wardrobe war in Washington, D.C., has heated up with Sen. John Fetterman, Democrat Pennsylvania. Praising the Senate's decision to put a pause on its dress code recently. Fetterman, who is known for his leisurely attire, often sports a hoodie in gym shorts rather than a three-piece suit, fired back at other senators suggesting he dresses like a slob, news.com has learned. I feel it's a little more freedom, which should be bipartisanship, the Pennsylvania Democrat told Fox News. I don't know why the right side seems to be losing their minds over it. I think it's a good thing, but I'm going to use it sparingly, he added while wearing a short sleeve button down. I hope other colleagues take advantage of it too. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat New York, instructed the sergeant at arms to disable the chamber's dress code over the weekend following a debate over whether Fetterman's leisurely attire is acceptable for a public official. Cynthia Lummis went as far as saying Fetterman dressed like a slob. This is a terribly sad development for the U.S. Senate, she said. I've never seen civility enhanced or a sense of decorum enhanced by dressing like a slob. When you dress like that around here, which is the very sloppiest that a person would dress even if they're going to a gym by themselves. The bar is lowered, Lummis added about Fetterman's attire. The Senate is degraded. It's debased. It should not be typical of how we dress when we go to the floor of the United States Senate. Schumer's order allows Fetterman to continue to wear his trademark hoodie and gym shorts rather than a suit on the Senate floor. The dress code does not require women to wear business attire and for now the men don't have to either. According to the Associated Press, Fetterman often skirted the dress code by voting from the doorway of the Democratic cloakroom or side entrance. The war over wardrobes has become a political sideshow as Congress attempts to reach an agreement on funding to avoid a government shutdown. This is an embarrassment, Sen. Roger Marshall, Republican Kansas, said. The people of Kansas don't want me showing up in a hoodie. Out of respect, we should have some sense of decorum here. Marshall told Fox News that he will follow the dress code regardless of Schumer's order. I'm actually going to go the other direction. I'm gonna ramp it up, Lummis said. I'm gonna dress more formally, 